we know that God provides food for all wildlife. We but the Bible says that for man to eat, he will have to sweat for it. 但是很奇怪的, 圣, 圣经说, 人要吃的东西, but if God had not provided the water and the rain, the farmer would not succeed. 当然我们知道, 如果耶和华不供养水, 啊，不供养这个这个阳光与雨水的话，那么啊，农民你再种种这个菜，再种这个下的种子下去，它也不不会有丰收了。And now we go down to eighteen. 我们来跳到第十八节。And uh, and he says, the high mountains are for the wild goats, and the cliffs are a refuge for the rock badgers. 他说高山为野山羊的住住所，嗯，岩石为沙帆的长处。and um, he goes on um, he goes on and shows how God did not only provide water and food but he also provided housing for all the creatures uh, like a shepherd provides a fold for the sheep 所以诗人在这里讲是说，神不但造了这些野山羊啊，野生的动物，啊，不但呃这个供养他们，而且呢，他还帮他们预备找到一些住处，使得他们就像牧人为羊群找到安歇的地方。And and the um uh so the 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 rock badger badger because it's a small animal and a the bigger animals try to catch it. So it can go into these rocky places and 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 be safe in there. Uh, 我们知道这个沙帆是那种很小很小的那个动，它很容易被大一点的这个动物呃攻击和吃掉，所以神给他们预备是在岩石的啊这个深处，他们可以可以藏就可以躲藏. And we have to go back up to seventeen, where the birds build their nests. See the trees of the Lord drink their fill. The cedars of Lebanon, which he planted, where the birds build their nest, and and the stork, whose home is in the fir trees. 在十六十七节，我们是朝回看。他说，加美的树木就是黎巴嫩的香柏树，是耶和华所栽种的，都满了枝呃枝浆。雀鸟在其上搭窝，枝与鹤松树是他们的，是他的房屋。Then the birds have have trees for their nests. The stork has a special tree for its nest. So you can see the birds can be on the trees on the side of the nest. Other than the birds, like the hawk, but um, to uh, to keep the uh, balance of nature, he provided darkness for the beasts of the forest to prowl around it. This. 为了让这个所有的被造的这些，呃，所有的这些被造物，他们有一个，呃，有一个生物的一个生物的一个循环，那么他就安排要有晚上有黑夜的时光，使得他们可以保持这个休息和劳作的耕作的这个作息的时间。
，神是呃在整个在牧养所有在地上被造的这个生物。See, Jesus said in Matthew 6:26. 呃，要把神这个耶稣在马太福音的这个第六章的二十六节。Look at the birds of the air。他说：“你们看天空的飞鸟。”They do not sow。他说：“他们不不纺线。”Neither do they reap。啊，他们也不耕种，也不收。Nor gather into barns。他们也不这个纺线。And yet your heavenly Father feeds them。你看，他说：“你们的天父尚且供养他们。” See that is the only reason there are still animals on the and birds on the, our planet today. 你看到今天为止，啊，他们从来自己不需要去去去做什么事情，但是耶和华供养他们。还有这么多种种的鸟类，尽管自然环境已经有变化，但是这么多的鸟类还活在地上。Because God shepherds them. 因为主耶和华牧养这些被造的。And there would be a lot more animals except that man kills them. 呃，其实以前耶和华造的物种更多，这个这个呃动物呃更多，但是都很多都被人杀光了，吃光了。Now turn over to Psalm 121. 呃，我们来看看诗篇的第二十一。Not 119, it's too long. 121. 在诗篇的一百二十一，对不起啊，一百二十一。Now. Starting with Psalm 120, these are called the songs of ascent. 呃，我们上一节课有讲到过，从诗篇第一百二十篇开始呢，都叫上行诗。And uh, the, have you you know what the songs of ascent? Do you know what they are? 大家明白什么叫上行诗吗？上行诗。Remember, everybody, you remember what they are? 大家还记得吗？上一节课我们有说过上行诗。David remember. Do the rest of you remember? Every, every year, three times a year, all the Jewish men had to travel to Jerusalem to worship at three festivals. 大家记得犹太人有个规矩，他每一年有三次过节的时候，一年三次，全以色列人要上到耶路撒冷去，到到耶路撒冷去过节。And those were the days before there were called, before there were buses, and cars, and, and trains, and motorcycles. 那个时候没有摩托车，没有汽车，也没有公共汽车，啊，也没有飞机、轮船，什么都没有，所以他们都是要靠步行去的。They used to travel on foot. They used to walk on foot from their homes to Jerusalem. 他们通常是这个就就步行去，从他们的家一直步行到耶路撒冷。And so it was a great pilgrimage of people going up. 所以大家会看见在路上会看到很多的行路客，就在那里走路的步行的这个人。And as they would as they would go, they would sing songs. They would sing these songs. 啊，当他们在一边朝耶路撒冷去的时候，他们是一路上一边走一边唱，这些就是他们一边走一边唱的诗。They were some some the hundred and twenty. To Psalm 134. All of those were the Psalms of Ascent. From 120 pian to 134 pian, 就这些都是上行之诗 And they would sing them at different different times. 而且他们是啊，从在不同的时间点，他们唱不同的诗 We have no record of how what the pattern was. 呃，我们现在已经失传了，就不知道他们当时在什么季节，在什么时候的时候唱哪一首诗。啊，现在已经好像无从查考。Now in one of the Psalms of Ascent, which is Psalm 121, 在其中一百二十一篇 ，the author brings out this concept of of、uh, of a shepherd. 呃，这个诗人也讲到关于主耶华就像牧者一样。See in in the verses one, two, and three. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord, He who made heaven and earth. He will not allow foot to sleep. He He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. 在第一到第四节说，我要向山举目，我的帮助从何而来？我的帮助从造天地的耶和华而来。他必不叫你的脚摇动，他保护你必不打盹
保护以色列的必不打盹，也不睡觉。